Hi guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So yesterday we had a look at Hannibal with his Libyan infantry, but today we are looking at Hasdrubal, the other new Carthaginian commander uh, that was introduced in the game uh, yesterday with the open beta release. So I'm up at tier 5 with the Carthaginian cavalry, who some, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that, some, some tribesmen, some mounted tribesmen. Um, so it kind of plays a bit weird, Hasdrubal, as a, a cavalry commander. It's kind of different to any of the other three commanders in the game. Um, it's taken me a bit of time to sort of get a bit used to what he plays like. Um, sort of caught me out a little bit first. So just to briefly go through um, his skills. So uh, at tier 1 he has the flying column, which is basically just a cavalry charge. It also works for infantry as well. Um, but it's not a very effective, it's not a very strong charge. It has really quick acceleration, but charge impact currently at uh, tier 5 is only 10%. With only a 5% impact damage, so it's not very effective, and it only runs for 2 seconds. But the cooldown is 13 seconds, just so short, easily. The quickest recharging uh, charge in the game. So that means you can you can slam into the enemy, pull out, slam in again, um, and just repeat that because it just recharges so quickly. After that, um, your other two um, bonuses are both bribes, both you know buffs, so for allied units. Uh, you can use deep pockets which gives them uh, a melee defense and a melee attack and a morale increase so that's a friendly buff or bribe which is an enemy debuff but both of these only work on one individual unit and you actually have to pick which unit you want it to work on so you have to sort of select the ability and select the unit you want it to work on so it's kind of hard to do sometimes i'm finding in the heat of battle when you're trying to manage everything else as well so that's Hasdrubal, it's not really supposed to be a Hasdrubal video, it's more of a unit video so we won't go into too much detail, perhaps do a separate uh, Hasdrubal review. So the actual units themselves, I've not got them fully upgraded, um, I had quite a few bad battles at the start when I was trying to sort of figure them out, but they're basically a really light, really quick uh, spear cavalry. Uh, they work, play in some sense similar to the Barbarian cavalry, they have a really quick base speed, uh, it's 7.8 uh, plus 0.5, so 8.3 now they're up to just on the base. Uh, so they are really quick. They also get a, a, a proprietary cavalry charge. So you could use these with Hannibal. Because they have their own inbuilt cavalry charge. You don't need Hasdrubal's cavalry charge. Um, and perhaps my favourite ability is the javelins. So every 60 seconds you get to throw a javelin up to 50 metres. And they're actually quite good javelins. They're, they're, you know, If you get a nice clean hit on equivalent tier enemies. You can be doing five, 6,000 damage uh, with that one throw. And they're not limited there's not not like the Roman peelers where you get two to throw. Uh, these you can have as many as you like, but they just take 60 seconds to recharge. Um, and obviously they reform into automatically because the Carthaginians are a professional army. Um, I'm running them with consumables. I went for the the imported wild apples because it gives the charge impact and the movement speed, which is sort of what they need really. So without further ado, let's hop into a replay I had with these guys earlier on today and uh, see how we got on. So you join me on the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest. Uh, this is the new map that was also came out in uh, the with the open beta update in patch 3. Uh, so it's taken a little bit of time to learn how it plays out as well. Um, for the start, my initial thought was just to push straight up uh, to capture the observation point. If in doubt, get spotting. Um, it seems kind of an advantage, I thought, on this map to have this one here, which kind of overlooks more of the centre compared to this one that they get on their side, which is a bit further back as well. But perhaps not. Um, so for any new players, this is quite an easy way of just getting an initial base points in. You'll see, uh, once I capture this point, we'll get some nice early spots, because everyone starts quite close together, it's quite a small map. So like that, so we've got all these units spotted, including some light artillery at the back of the map, and that gave me 800 points just in spotting damage, just for nothing. So that's kind of an easy way of getting some early uh, points in. Um, so I start to sort of assess the situation. I like the look of this light artillery at the back. Um, which I can see from here. It's interesting actually how much range you get on this observation platform. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a, a consideration I was thinking about. Um, we've got some citizen cavalry down here. I think they think they're hiding in the long grass, but obviously with the observation platform we own, they're not. Um, so then I'm just sort of assessing my situation. I'm not quite sure what to do. No one's really pushed down to engage anywhere at the moment. Nothing was really going on. But then I see these Roman infantry start to push, be pushing up. Well, they're taking a lot of fire from the uh, artillery up on the hill, which is a concern. And then they're pushing into these. Uh, these um, these are the new tier five Carthaginian infantry, which is kind of cool. 
So while that's going on, I decide right now is my time to make a move. I notice these citizen cavalry move off because these uh, tier 6 equites are pushing in, which are much higher tier heavy Roman cavalry units. Um, so the citizens have no choice but to pull back. And I sense my opportunity. I know I saw when I was spotting the enemy artillery up on the hill and we can still see them shooting down with the arrows. So by using this land as cover, they can't see me approaching until the last minute and I try and dive in. They very sneakily, I think we might get to see them if we're really quick, they managed to deploy some caltraps here, some caltrops. Obviously the um, uh, scorpion crews get to deploy them very quickly, which obviously works very well for them in this case. I, they have hit cavalry charge, so you can see how much they slow me down though. But um, I, I thankfully my units weren't uh, clumped together, I wasn't in a blob. So the first and second cover charge got stopped by the caltraps. They, they really slow you down and don't really damage you much. And I was able to divert the third unit away around a little bit. We took some casualties on the cliff, but it allowed me to get around those caltraps and get into the enemy artillery. Because at this point, they are trying to run. So I'm trying to push this third unit to stop them being able to get out quite so much. One of the routes, but that's kind of a good thing for them. And they're able to get that unit clear. I should really have pushed uh, this third unit back around to chase them while I had the opportunity because they're going to come back to haunt me later. So, things have gone well. We've wiped out two of the enemy light artillery. So, I begin to push back round. And I seize this opportunity here. So, we just push back round. The enemy have obviously got some tier 5 barbarian warriors here defending these two uh, units of archers. But they don't really seem to be paying attention. They've not made any move yet to come back to defend their archers. And I'm about to hit them. As you see, they just realised at the last minute, but it's too late, and we get a really good hit into the enemy archers. So despite the fact that these units are light cavalry, and not particularly strong, and they've got quite a weak charge, that was with Hasdrubal's commander's charge, you know, we half health these units of archers, take some more health of the other, and we even damage the, the more heavily armoured warriors. Well, that's not more heavily armoured, more infantry. <laughs> they let us say heavily armoured, they're completely naked, so that's not really the case. Um, and then you'll see that they actually have a semi-decent fight ability, these, um, uh, whatever these, these tribesmen. So I activate Bribe debuff on the Barbarian, so that gives them a minus 20, 35% melee weapon damage and attack. Which is quite a decrease. Drops their attack quite a lot, because we've not got a lot of armour, but that really doesn't help them very much in terms of their ability to fight on. They try and pull out the remainder of their archers, but we almost completely wipe out a full unit of archers without taking all that many casualties. So things are going really well now. We're up to 2,500 damage so far in this game. Um, so I just want to get out to assess the situation. You can see some elephants having a massive stamping contest against some of these infantry down at the bottom. So I sort of reform. I'm look, trying to look what I've got. And this is where you're in sort of quite a hard situation. Almost everywhere around here we're sort of outnumbered. Most of our units, we've got a lot of units sort of split off over here, not really doing anything. Um, obviously trying to flank but, but all the enemies have just sort of gone the centre you know there's too many uh, tier 6 gladiators down here we've got a couple of units engaged down here but most of them are already um, struggling and losing the battle so it's kind of looking for my opportunity is kind of hard and that's when that darn light artillery that I let get away earlier in the game starts to shoot back at me you see quite, a, quite an effective um, shots it goes in it does quite a lot of damage per hit obviously i really should have made sure i took them out earlier in the game that was a real error on my part um didn't pursue them hard enough but i just pulled back to try and get out of their range I, I wasn't quite sure what i wanted to do and by loitering around there i'm just getting shot at and losing health for no benefit so i try and get out of range of the light artillery and i start to push up around the back to see what i can see around here we've got some uh, some tier six equites having a go against an enemy elephant and all honesty, they're not really doing that much damage. You know, these elephants really need to be taken out by ranged. They're just so strong, considering these three of these tier six heavy Roman cavalry they are supposed to be a really dominant combat unit. But you can't even kill this strong one elephant. Um, so I just come up. There's a couple of light, uh, three units of archers there doing nothing. So I just walk into them. Obviously, quick tip. If you see three archers like that, don't charge. Because you're just going to charge yourself into the cliff and cause massive casualties. Um, they didn't need that, just my presence is enough to get them to rout, so yeah, don't no need to charge there. Uh, another another point of note is that uh, the um, bribe debuff that you can have the enemy is also a morale debuff as well, I believe. Uh, so that's well worth doing if the enemy's not got much morale left. So this is coming up to my big error in this game. Um, it's all going quite well. This is one of the best games I've had so far with these guys. Um, we got good, good casualties against the enemy artillery, we took out a lot of the enemy archers, 
Um, and then I was moving in, trying to hunt down this last unit of enemy artillery. And, oh, I think you can just see the beginnings of my stake, uh, my mistake, my mistake, uh, beginning to emerge. And I just didn't spot them. Uh, it's, it's so silly because I should have known they were going to be around. Why I didn't think they would be, uh, I don't know. And then look at that, I just still didn't spot them. And, ooh, I try and line up and straight into the enemy stakes. Look at the amount of casualties I take there on the enemy stakes. We do do enough to kill the enemy light artillery, combined with the fact I'm actually being shot out by booming archers as well. So we get them to rout, but uh, unfortunately the, it is the end of the game for me. And there we go, and for the rest of that game I just get peppered away to nothing, because I've only got about four horsemen left. Um, ultimately it turns out to be a defeat, uh, the enemy managed to group their infantry units strongly enough in the centre, and I think we got spread out on too many of the flanks, and that sort of meant they were able to concentrate and face off against a, a fewer units at once. Particularly things like, look at this poor elephant, surrounded by so many units, you know, he's never going to be able to rack, rack up enough damage to kill all of them. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, it gave you a bit of an insight into the Tier 5 Carthaginian Cavalry. They are actually a really nice unit. Um, they are very fast, and they're quite light, but they, they do actually have a reasonable combat ability once they are stuck into a battle. I mean, hopefully, as you saw when we got involved with these archers uh, against the, the warriors, we didn't actually take that many casualties, and we actually started to inflict some casualties on the infantry. And in other battles, once they get engaged in equivalent tier infantry, as long as you're not against a Germanicus running Vengeance, then they actually can rack up quite a bit of damage quite effectively despite their light uh, armour. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like in the comments. Uh, in the comments? Well, you can like a comment if you want. Like the video if you can. Um, it really does help the channel out um, because it increases the search rankings for the video so more people can find it. So, thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you all on the next video.